Great molecules! They're programming the computers for a chain reaction to blow up that atomic pile! I've got to stop it! Huh, just the thing! Used to be pretty good at tossing javelins! Here you go! Now, the control panel! Too late, the chain reaction's begun! Only seconds to go! Got to intercept it! Maybe I can cut out these transistors. Reactions past transistor phase. Must smash those photoelectric cells. Reactions in final phase. Each reaching blast level. This is my last Dr. Chance. Wells' laboratory is just ahead, Wonder Woman. I guess we passed the security test. No problem, Doctor. But do you mind telling us what was so urgent that we had to get down here in the middle of the night? Nice try, Wells. But your plan will never work. With my subatomic strength, I'll rip open this elevator as if it were tinfoil. Wonder Woman, look! It's Washington crossing the Delaware. Don't worry, Wonder Woman. I'll handle everything. All right, friend. It's time we got this little show off the ground. Wait a minute. There's just one more thing I've got to do. Good luck, George. And don't worry. You're going to make a great president. The controls. That's it. If I can shrink down to microscopic size, I may be able to rewire the circuits. Here goes nothing. If I can accelerate to the speed of a high-energy particle, I may be able to stop that boulder. And speaking of time, I'm afraid you may be doing a little time at the Federal... You do turn a few heads. <laughs> well, tell me, how did you meet? Well, that was through a computer dating service. <laughs> They're not in business anymore. Oh, well, how come you've kept your romance a secret for so long? Well, we wanted to make sure it just wasn't a physical attraction. I see. Well, then I guess you're really serious. Oh, we certainly are. In fact, I took her home to meet my family. Oh, were there any problems? Just one. What was that? Getting through the door. I was embarrassed to tell anyone. My friends. Family my fiance. How could they understand when all I could think about was the word freak? Figured I could handle it myself. But I lost everything. Everyone. I was at wit's end when John found me. I was scared out of my mind. Just Reconfigure for the automata limit, Katie. I know he's down here somewhere. Could be pretty small by now. And he just found me. He's bigger than my car now, Katie. Personally, I blame you. How can it possibly be my fault? Because otherwise it would be my fault. That can't be right. I'm a professor. I have the core control and I can see the problem. The chemical wash made a bad nanochip. I can shut him down by... Okay, I'm just going to be direct. I'm going to lay here for a while, Katie. I'm old now and I get tired. You have to understand, making metal out of rock is a microscopic process. The core control is issuing instructions at an atomic scale. You can't just smash up a machine the size of an infection. Leave a crumb of it intact and it'll start all over again. You have to get me to the main ship. I have to go inside that thing and reprogram it. Amazing. Show him a weapon that destroyed its creators and every other thing it saw, and he wants to play with it. What's to stop history from repeating itself right here on Earth? I'm Ray Palmer from Ivy University. I've heard of you, Palmer, and your invention. Matter reduction, right? Right. You're a little shorter than I remember, Batman. Welcome to Morlaid. These are the Catarthans. I discovered them one day when I was looking for rare flora. Their spacecraft crash-landed long ago, and they've been marooned here ever since. This is Duragis, Chancellor to the Catarthan royal family. Duragis is understandably protective of his people. I've been trying to help them survive in this hostile jungle. You've seen how tough that can be. My dear, may I introduce Batman of Gotham City. Batman, this is the Princess Lathwood. Your Highness. Perhaps now you can see why I've been gone. Let me show you what I'm working on. I've been helping the Catarthans fix their ship so they can return to their home planet. Their warp drive uses a white dwarf star lens to focus plasma. The repairs are nearly done, but the astro gyroscope is completely shot. This root ganglia. Fascinating. Bumblebee, no touching the ganglion. Okay, we've reached the site of the incursion. Give me the 600 nanometer emitter. You see, most problems can be solved by reducing them to their smallest components. I'm through the first layer. Increase power by 40 watts. What happened? 
happened in there? There were complications. What about the scarab? Can you remove it or not? I'm afraid its integration with your biosystem is too complete. Its defense is too thorough. Jaime, I don't believe that scarab is ever coming off. Not while you live. Sure, Hawkman. After so long playing superhero as the Atom, the South American Research Project is Ray Palmer will feel like a vacation. This is the Atom on the Justice League Emergency Transponder. I don't know if anyone can hear me, but this thing is as broken as my size-changing belt, which seems to have me stuck at six inches high. I've crashed near a river. I'm going to follow it. It'll be slow going, but hopefully not too difficult. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. And surprised as heck that you're my size. But this is great. Maybe you can... Right. You guys sure know how to welcome a stranger. Is that a tame rat? It's not. Yeah, about that, I'm afraid your services are no longer required. You're... Oh, you're kidding, right? It was a mix-up. I take full responsibility. Oh, come on! Do you know how rare it is to get a mission that requires my stupid powers? Never! And when I do get called, it's because Lois Lane dropped an earring down the bathroom sink. I can't believe I let myself get excited because for once I was going to leave the house not to buy cat food! It's just... I got the shrinking thing covered. Good seeing you. I'm not leaving. I drove all the way across town. I'm going on the mission. I took a shower this morning for crying out loud. I'm not sure what to do here. Easy. Pick the better hero. Uh, how are you the better hero? Because when I shrink, I still have the strength of a full-grown man. So, can you lift this couch? Yes. If someone got the other side, then it would just depend on the handholds. But I can also do this. seen a tiny man lift an entire bag of potato chips? Big deal! I can shrink and fly! Deal! Hmm, I gotta say, shrinking seems like a pretty useless power. Are you sure we need the tiny hero? To defeat the brain? Yes. In that case, I propose a shrink-off, a tiny competition, to decide who becomes the official shrinking hero of the Teen Titan! Ooh, we can't do that, Adam. In the short time she's been with us, Bumblebee has become an essential part of our team. We couldn't just toss her aside. You want to pay me back the gas money I spent driving over here? No, oh, thank no, you. No, 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 no. Uh, shrink off it is! Wait, you're really gonna make me fight this guy? Shh! We can't afford gas money. Have not of the worries. We will provide you with the training. Yeah, honey mama. We've seen all them movies where people get real small, so he knows what it takes. Great. And it's settled. <laughs> Will you please stop stepping on me? Sorry about that. As I was saying... Uh, now you're doing it on purpose! I'm really not. Whoa, he's really on there. Little guy, stop. Can someone get the hose? I got you, bro. The Adam has arrived. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he thought the movie was about him. Halt for the mighty... Dr. Raymond Palmer, also known as the Atom. Come with me if you want to live. I always wanted to say that. My friends and I here are time travelers. We've kidnapped Nixon and we're headed to Disney. What are you doing? Trying to be cool. Are you chewing tobacco? Come on, get your roll. I'm Rick. John White. How did you know, Dr. Lecter? Do Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Uh, so who did kill Hank? The demon. Okay, good. Uh, obviously, I mean, obviously it's bad. I'm Peter. We're huddling for warmth now. You can't do it, Nate. What, resist your charm? 
You're Ray Palmer. You can science your way out of anything. Well, I guess I'll just go back to being a billionaire inventor with four PhDs. Where do you come from? Where, where, where do any of us come from? You know, one of the odds that one lonely sperm meeting with the one special egg. You know, science types are always still wrestling with the big questions. We've answered those questions, Dr. Palmer. Mm-hmm. Well, that's it. What if I got inside Nora? Not like that. What's the old hands? Bring it like freaking Toy Story 3. I can't feel my... I better not say. Oh, hi, Mr. Hewitt. Nice to finally meet you. The show goes on and I don't want to say goodnight. Oh, man, you guys are really good. Frank. Yeah, but they were just getting to the good... Yep. Good morning. I, for one, always... Always want to see the best in people. There's no bravery without fear. Fellas, you look cold in here without my suit. I have missed you. Really, dude? I will never, ever leave you again. The hell is that on your arm? It's my tattoo. It's a corgi with a mohawk. You've lost a haircut. Finally lost. It's rage, mate. <laughs> no, I do not like Nora. Uh-huh. Because you love her. No. Oh. I got you there. That's probably uh, not the right time to mention that I'm uh, that I'm a terrible liar. Right. Oh, Toledo. Where'd you guys come from? You're spying on me? Of course you are. I shouldn't say anything. Okay, I'll tell you everything. And water? Anyone? Actually, water is really powerful. It's crucial to life on Earth. And did you know that we are made up of 60% water? It's all right. I think we get it. Take a totem. Oh, I wasn't making a pitch for one. Just take the totem. Cool. This is the second worst attack of the clothes I've seen. <laughs> anyway, I wrote a song to help us remember all the codes. It goes like this from the top. If the code is one one one, Mollus has escaped the time dungeon. If the code is one one two, all right, Nate, just tell us. The code is one one three. It's off to the bridge for you and me. You memorize Ray's song? Well, he sings it often enough. Ray, nothing stupid. Is she right? Are you really planning something stupid? Maybe. Probably. Most likely. Well, I guess the fact that I'm still here means temporal permanence hasn't set in. Which means we can still save my life and enjoy 1988 while we're at it. Trust Ray to find the bright side of dying. Right, sorry, turning off. Extremely loosely, BTW, also BTW. These numbers aren't sanitized for Wall Street. 
This is raw information from your company's own servers. How'd they get into our computers? Somebody tells me he deployed a remote administration tool. But the truth is, this company's woes are a symptom of a much larger problem. And that problem is Starling City. Queen Consolidated can't hope to survive. The city it's located in is dying. And guess what? It is. Nobody wants to live here anymore. <laughs> and after two terrorist attacks, who can blame them? This city still needs saving. And that is my vision for this company. To not only see it rise from the ashes, but to take this city with it to that new horizon. And that new day has a name. Hey there, I'm the Adam. Uh, but you can call me Plan B. Turns out your sister doesn't trust you as much as you thought. Better hold on tight. She's slippery. Come on. All this bleeding edge tech, you don't think I'd make it waterproof? When did everyone else start saying that? Uh, that was my thing. Well, maybe it's catching up. Dr. Ray Palmer, here to save the world with science. Whoa, how did I get here? Did someone just change time again? I just finished my speech this afternoon. Molecular miniaturization. A big idea for a shrinking world. I don't think you'll have to say much, Dr. Palmer. Thanks, Ryan. It's your husband. Remember how you wanted stables in the backyard? We might have the room after all. Call me back. Hopefully we'll change all that. The kryptonite set? There's just enough to weaken you so that my white dwarf tech can take effect. At least in theory. Systems up. Kryptonite assimilated. Initiating white dwarf transfer. Cellular absorption at 60%. 90%. How do you feel? Excited. Be sure you bring back all the tissue samples I requested. If we're going to return Candor back to normal, we have to test its molecular stability. Remember, Candor's artificial red sun means you'll be entirely without superpowers once you enter. Oh, yeah. When someone points a disintegrator at me, I make it a policy to duck. Now, let's go get Candor back. Until then, I'll have to improvise.